All hail the kings and their bug sword. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the King Oger DX Oger Caliber. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have the caliber itself. We have the whole team up top. We have the team Oja Caliber. On the bottom, we have the Oja Caliber. 520 millimeters of royalty. On this side of the box, we have things and stuff. On this side, we have stuff and things. We have another nice picture here of the team. On the back of the box, we have obligatory product shots. It does it. That the stuff. Sing, ding, boom, pa, boom, ping, ping, and that. And we have warning. <laughs> Don't eat anything in this box. It's going to be very bad for you. And of course, we have Sad Pac Man. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Oja Caliber, and this is the changer and primary weapon of the King Oja. So we have us a nice sword changer this season, and uh, yeah, very interesting sword, but I do quite dig the design. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. We'll start at the handle. Now the handle, as you can see, is made to look like it is made out of wood. It even has like a wood grain kind of molded into it. I dig it. We get some, like it's not black, it's kind of like a dark gray going on in here. We do have these little sections here, which can push in because we will be able to attach something to this. And I'll show that off when it's time to show that off. That's not going to be in this video. Um, you can see here, we actually have like a nice finger guard. Here we have our trigger. And you can see this section as the representations of all five of the King Ogers. We have Hachi right here, and that's the little push button deal. We have uh, Tonbo, and this just rotates like that. We have Kuagata, and that just moves up and down. We have uh, Papillon, the wing just flaps, and Kamakiri, you just pull this down, and that's how all those sections work right there. That's some nice details, some nice paint work. I like it. Now the blade itself. Let's see, you got some nice silver going down the blade. We will get some lights that will be going off in here as well once we get down to the noises. But some nice detail here. Looking like a very mechanical blade. And of course the blade itself is kind of that soft rubber. It's not really that soft, but you know, for safety, it's kind of, you know, you can still hurt somebody with this really. But hey, safety. And the other side, again, we get some nice molded detail here. A lot of molded detail back here, actually. Well, no. Not too shabby. Your battery compartment is right here. It takes uh, three AAA batteries, which are not included. You'll have to get those yourself. Your on off switch is right here, and your speaker is right there. And again, your trigger is right there. That will help us activate some of the noises. But overall, a pretty nicely done sword. It's actually a pretty good size, too. From end to end, it measures in at about 20 and a half inches. So, you know, it's obviously not full size, but still a nice size. I do quite like it. And uh, just for comparison, here it is with last season's Sunglass Sword. Just so you can see how they look side by side. Probably not the best I can do here, but you know, it's just to give you the gist here of what's going on. But all in all, I think this looks pretty cool. A very interesting weapon. It actually feels very comfortable in the hand, at least in my, you know, tiny little hands, <laughs> it actually feels quite comfortable, and uh, yeah, very, very slashable, I dig it, I dig it, but without further ado, let's get down to the noises, so again, your on-off switch is right back here, turn it on, and we get... Tells you what it is in case you already forgot, and you can see those LEDs going off in the blade. And when we pull the trigger, get a slash noise, slashy, 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 slashy. And you can see here in the blade as you pull the trigger, the lights uh, light up in the different colors of the different King Ogers. So 
So that's pretty cool. I do quite like that. So, without further ado, let's get down to the uh, to the changing here. So, um, we'll just do this one at a time. So we'll start off with Kubagata. So just pull this back. Your standby music. And when you're ready to go, just pull it again, and we're alarms! And there you go, you're changing to Kuagata Oja! I like the voice on this thing too. <laughs> so there you go. Now, the way he does it on the show, you can do all five at the same time if you want to. So you can do it that way also, either way, whatever you want to do, and we pull the trigger, you get a different slash, so there you go, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do transformations for the rest of the team, so we'll start off with Hachi, so push this in. And to complete the henshin, pull back on Kuwagata. We have Hachi Oja! Pull the trigger. Let's see if we get a different slash noise for him. There you go. So now we will do Tumbo. Tumbo Oja, and pull the trigger. And we get that slashing noise. So now Papillon. Papillon Oja! And last but not least, Kamakiri. And you got Kamakiri Oja! He says that kind of weird, but you know. It's <laughs> I like the way he says it though. But there you go. We have done all of our transformations there. Now we can do a final attack by holding the trigger down. Got the Oger charge. Get that noise going. And you pull back once. And if you pull the trigger, Nothing happens. I pull twice. Pull the trigger. And again, nothing happens. So to do the attack, you have to do it three times.
Then you get the Oja finish, and we can do it with the other members. We'll do Tumbo. <laughs> that was my favorite. Oh, that Oja finish. And explosions and explosions. One more time. And the last thing we can do is we can summon the mechas. And to do that, you want to take Kogata and just hold this back. Shogun! And it calls for the Shogun's. And then just pull us back. Got Kogata. Got Hachi. Got Tumbo. Got Papillon. And got Tomokuri. And then pull the trigger. So lights going off in there. And pull the trigger. And you got King, King, King Oja. And there you go. You just go back to your slashing, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. So there you go. So there you have the Oger Caliber, and I do quite like this. I think it's pretty cool. I dig the design. Um, I dig the way the gimmick works. It just, it's like playing Bop It with a sword, you know? It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. I like it. I like the noises. I like the voice. Um, so all in all, I, I dig this. I definitely dig this. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Super Sentai items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the King Oja playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the King Oger, DX Oger Caliber. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm me. <laughs>